The clearing opened the fifth white coat ceremony for the 150 students, classes of 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 School of Clinical Medicine of Yoba Okwade Shuduwade College of Health Sciences, Igbinajan University, Okada. The vice chancellor of the institution, Professor Lawrence Izemoye, said white coat ceremony is a rite of passage from basic medical sciences classes into clinical classes. He said the symbolic ceremony is not a graduation ceremony, but a call to more dedication and hard work. You do not require greater devotion. It's an instrument. Resilience and hard work to achieve your dream of graduating as many good doctors in the next few years. Be assured of the university's strength, support, and commitment to ensure that we produce quality medical practice and also support in a keynote address titled Navigating the Road Ahead, the guest speaker, Professor Edmund Wana, said induction from preclinical to clinical practice is a stage of medical knowledge available in the field. He taxed the students to be upright and humble in the clinical journey. That stage at which we are now marked the transition from the study of normal structure and function of the human body in anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry, to the study of patterns and laws. High point of the ceremony was the symbolic garnering of white coats and oath taking conducted by the provost and deans of the head college. From today onward, I will commit and dedicate myself to this course of medical education. The Dean, School of Clinical Medicine, Professor Dominic Osaga, comments on the significance of the white coat ceremony. It's an occasion that provides opportunity to inculcate the traditions of the medical profession in medical students, so that as they are training in the clinical years, they begin to remember that fact that they are doctors to be, or a lot is expected of them. The first white coat ceremony was held on the 20th of August 1993 at the Columbia State University College of Physicians and Surgeons, USA, funded with grants from Arnold P. Gold Foundation. Deborah Ubefun reporting.